What's up everybody? Doing a little gear review today. Um, I don't normally do this, but this is just like a really well-built product that I just, honestly, I wish I knew about this thing earlier. So this is the Camp Chef Striker 200. So what this one is, is it's the um, backcountry system for either ISO fuel or propane. Really, you're gonna be using ISO if you're in the backcountry or if you have it, you can do it car camping or whatever kind of truck camping, whatever you wanna call it. But you can also have propane, which is a little bit heavier, but it's a little bit cheaper. Um, so kind of the difference between, like I was saying with those is, you got your ISO is usually about this big versus your propane, which is about this big. Cheaper, cheaper, but obviously a lot heavier, a lot bulkier. Um, so kind of how I see them is backcountry versus car camping, truck camping, like I said, whatever you want to call it. So kind of just to dive into it, the honestly, the first thing I love about it is one, this bag that it comes in, super nice. Um, as you'll see here in a second, you don't necessarily need it, but it's really nice to have it in your pack when it's rolling around, getting bumped, dropped, whatever. Everything is staying together. Um, really, really a big fan of that. So kind of to, to take it out of this little mesh sack, super easy to do. Um, comes with a little drawstring, nice light mesh. Um, so this is what I was talking about with where you don't necessarily need it because this top is not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. Really, really like that part of the system. Um, I would assume maybe the mesh bag is for if this little wire here were to somehow come undone and then somehow this came undone and then somehow this came off. So I guess it's kind of like a, just to cover your faces, I guess, who knows. But it's super easy to take out and, you know, put it to use. So you just pull this little wire. Um, I don't even know what that's called, honestly. But it's a little wire keeper that just keeps this um, handle pushed down. So you just slide that over, pull it down to get it out of the way. The handle, just reaches back. It's kind of spring loaded, so it's kind of nice, a little extra, um, a little extra resistance from it coming undone. It comes down and it actually clicks in, so it can't come undone uh, until you release the, the little latch with the release. This is also a nice feature, kind of overrated, honestly, um, or maybe underrated, sorry. This little rubber gripper to be able to take the top off. Um, I know with my jet boil, you have to basically touch the rim to get that part off. Um, and if you've ever been boiling water for a bit, you know that this outside metal part gets super hot. So having this to pull off is super nice. It has a little steam, steam vent right there. Um, so you can kind of tell like, oh, the water's boiling and it's not going to come flying out. So that's super nice to have. So this doesn't come with this. I just had, had this in there already to show you that you can actually put in your ISO, this size canister into there, close it all up and can be ready to, ready to roll. Um, and this isn't like a jet boil versus camp chef, but this is like kind of the things that separate it. So this is my jet boil that I've had for a really long time. So even following the instructions of how to pack this, it does not fit with an ISO tank can in there. And this is what I was talking about with the lid. There's no, no real way to grip it without touching the edge of this metal part. Super, uh, Super not fun when you touch that. 
because you're just thinking about something else or whatever and you touch that and you're like wow that's really hot and it's burning my skin so inside there is the actual burner itself uh, another thing that i really like about this system is the little push to ignite striker um i doubt that that's where the name actually comes from but it's so nice to have that um as you can see from my jet boil i didn't buy like the nice jet boil so you have this little lighter um, sleeve so you would turn on the gas flick the lighter a couple times till it ignit ignited and then you would go from there um, so it's nice to not have to you know carry just one extra thing you have that built in ignition which is super nice um, so then you got your regulator right here that obviously more or less fuel uh, to get the flame higher or lower and then you got the stand so this is just your basic um, three leg three leg stand iso goes in there and then you would screw this into the top and then obviously this kind of clicks in there and turns and then you're good to go. Um, so kind of the difference between the ISO one and the propane one is so first off you have this adapter that goes on into the propane tank like this. Screws in there. I'm not going to go all the way because I'm not trying to release anything in here. But you, that's your adapter. And that's essentially how you switch from ISO to propane. Super, super simple. And then obviously the little three legged kickstand looks a little bit more hefty because you know, you got your tank that's a little bit heavier. So you definitely want to make sure that you're, uh, you're good with that. So that's how that will look. Um, yeah, super simple design, super effective though. Um, really, really a big fan of this system. Um, so some other things that you do want to be kind of cognizant of is I think that the weight is actually pretty similar when it's all pick, packed up and, and, you know, ready to roll. But one big difference is the size. Uh, and I didn't realize this until I got it home and actually put them next to each other. But you can see, I'll even take off this bottom thing that probably no one in the history of jet boil has ever actually used for anything but you can see the difference in size so it's actually pretty pretty significantly larger um, in size i did not know that when i got it but like i said the weight is pretty much identical i mean you're talking about a couple extra square inches of aluminum or metal or whatever that is i don't know i'm not an engineer but uh, that's the big differences between these two. Um, so just kind of getting back into some of the features that I really like. Really a big fan of how this handle locks in there. And also this handle is super sturdy. That's one thing that I was a little bit nervous of was maybe thinking that it might be really wobbly or just kind of cheaply made, felt cheap, anything like that. But it actually is probably one of the features that made me think about even doing a gear review on this thing. Um, really a big fan of that because kind of like I said before, when you're touching the sides of these things, even with this, you know, heat dispensing cover or shield or whatever the heck it's called, it still gets super hot. Uh, so that's really nice to have that, to be able to, dump the water or just cook or stir or whatever you're doing with it just to have that extra point of contact on it without actually having to grab this thing because these get super super freaking hot um so kind of just to pack it pack it back up super simple i'll probably exclusively be using it for iso unless i'm just happen to be car camping which we don't really do um, so this goes in there first then you got your actual um, 
burner. And you can kind of spin it to fit better in the, the little triangle. Then you got your ISO, just goes right in on top. Then you got this top um, cover. Release the thumb. Snaps over. Like I said, that like spring-loaded action, I'm, I'm a big fan of. And then you just pull the little wire over to lock it in. And then throw it in the little, I don't want to call it a stuff sack, but the little mesh bag. And then you're done, and like I said, the, the features that I really, really like about this thing are the um, push button igniter. Super, super handy. Really a big fan of that because um, it's not going to run out of fuel or it's not going to not create a spark. Um, you're pretty much set with that thing for the, for the life of this. The handle is super well made, super sturdy. And then just how it packs up, you can actually fit in a little ISO tank in there, unlike the jet boil that I had, where um, not only could you not fit it in there, but it would make the top stick up. So if you were to throw it in there and put it in your pack, if it moves around at all, yard sale. Your stuff's gonna be all over the place. Super, super annoying. Um, and like I said, I'm going off the image that is actually printed on the side of the jet boil of how it's supposed to fit. So I'm not like putting it in there all weird or crooked or whatever you want to call it out of order. It's literally how it is printed on the side of the jet boil. Like I said, I'm not trying to rag on jet boil, but this has been my cooking system for years. And it's just always been something that's really annoyed me. And then you got the bag, which might be overkill, but it's just kind of nice, just in case. Um, so those are things that I really, really am a fan of. So like I said, this isn't bashing on jet boil. It's just kind of things that I don't like about my jet boil that I do really like about my Camp Chef. Um, the top just comes right off. There's no way to push it down or get it to lock in. Um, not really a fan of that. The ISO, it doesn't fit in there. You can try to arrange this thing 700 different ways. Um, that's not exactly how you're supposed to do it, but the point is that even when you do it, how it's printed on the side with a small ISO can does not fit. And if you were to put it in there and tip it upside down, everything would come out. Guaranteed, 100%. Because even when I don't tip it upside down, it still comes out in my pack. Um, just really annoying. Uh, so this is the handle. Like I said, yeah, see? Things are falling apart. Handle, you gotta put your hand right on it. In the winter, sometimes that is nice to have. You almost have like a little built-in hand warmer, but if it's too hot, then you're gonna burn yourself. If you're in the summer or warmer months you're gonna burn yourself um and then having to use the lighter to get it going and like i said i know i didn't buy like the deluxe jet boil but i'm pretty sure this jet boil ran about a hundred dollars or so and it didn't come with any of those features didn't come with the bag didn't come with the way that the top seals didn't come with the handle the push ignite didn't come with any of those things so this I think on their website itself, they run for like 135 ish. I bought this on Amazon for $85 and it got here in two days. Um, so I would shop around if you guys are looking into these shop around, see where you can get them cheaper. Um, you can definitely find them on Amazon, uh, a lot cheaper, but like I said, uh, don't normally do gear reviews, but I'm just super, I have not used this in the field yet. I will throw in that like disclaimer or whatever. Haven't used it in the field yet, but I've 
gone through enough gear and used enough gear and spent enough time in the backcountry to know that this thing is going to be freaking sweet. It's going to take up just a little bit more space than my jet boil did, but I mean, this even has the ISO tank in it and it still feels very, very similar in weight. So it might take up just a little bit more space, but it's not going to take up more weight. Um, and I'm, I'm honestly super pumped to, to use this, um, in the upcoming, you know, hiking months, hunting months, and just being outdoors. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys learned something or, you know, maybe you're not going to get it now, or maybe you are going to get it now, whatever. I'm just glad that I got to show you guys this like, and subscribe as usual. Appreciate you guys watching these videos and, uh, We'll see you on the next one.